Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at a cosmetic mod for Minecraft Java Edition. This mod is available on version 1.8.9 and is also available on versions 1.18.1 and version 1.18.2 which is currently the latest release of Minecraft Java Edition. So if you guys want to check this out you can actually download this on several different versions of Minecraft Java Edition. This is a really cool cosmetic mod. Not only does it give you a free cape, it also gives you free wings to use for your character as well as different other cosmetic designs for your character to use and you can also use this online and you can use this offline as well as you guys can see my character currently has some custom wings and he also has a custom cape design as you guys can see it also allows you to customize your title so as you guys can see I have added a custom title and not only that but it also gives you the option to add a title logo as well so as you guys can see it is showing the YouTube logo next to my title there which is pro so it's a really cool mod it does actually have loads of different customization options as well as you guys can see this is the games HUD I am using my best PvP mod pack and this mod actually comes bundled with the best PvP mod pack so you guys can actually get that mod pack and you can enjoy this mod as well so you will be able to enjoy PvP in versions 1.18.2 and versions 1.8.9 and get to experience this cool mod for those of you who are wondering this mod is called more cosmetics as you guys can see and it says more cosmetics powered by the cosmetics mod so you can actually go ahead and download this currently from the curse forge website i am going to leave a link in the description where you guys can go ahead and download this mod from and you should be able to start using it immediately after downloading it if you are on the latest release of minecraft which is a version 1.18.2 you will need a fabric however if you are using version 1.8.9 then this is going to run on forge to customize your cosmetics, you've got two options. You can either press the hotkey, so in this case, it's the M button on our keyboards, and it will bring us the more cosmetics interface, as you guys can see. You can also go into your options menu here, and then click on the skin customization option over here. And at the bottom, it will say more cosmetics. You can then click into this, and it will actually bring you to the same menu as you guys can see. Once you are in this menu, you've got two other options here. You can either have an offline mode or an online mode. The offline mode it gives you loads of different cosmetics however you will only be able to play this offline however if you actually click into where it says offline and then turn it online you will be able to customize some other cosmetics which other players who are using this mod will be able to see you so it is similar to other cosmetic mods where other players will be required to have this mod installed on their systems to be able to see each other's cosmetic designs on the online version you are able to get a free hat as you guys can see and not only that but you can actually go ahead and customize the color of this hat as well by clicking onto this cogwheel over here and then if you click onto the color icon over here you can actually go ahead and change the color like so so I'm gonna apply this purple looking color as you guys can see and it has changed it on my character we can do the same thing for the head cosmetic which at the moment is a satellite dish and we can actually click into this and we can actually change the colors of the pole and we can even add a rainbow based cycle effect as well which is really cool let's do the same thing for the dish as well and we can also adjust the height which is another cool type I do like that option over here so as you guys can see you can actually go ahead and adjust the height for this cosmetic and then we can finally go on the body and we can also get a shark fin and we can also change the color of this as well so as you guys can see I do have a shark fin on the back of my character like so and we can change the height of this as well and lower or raise it like so and finally we also have a cloak and if I click on the cloak library over here I can actually browse so you can actually go Go ahead and choose the cosmetics mod different designs for the cape let me actually turn my character around and we can actually go into this other section which says night design and there are loads of different capes you can actually choose from this section let's actually go ahead and start clicking into these so as you guys can see we can actually go ahead and choose different really cool designs from this section over here i'm going to go ahead with this zorro one piece character cape design over here I'm going to click on this cross and I'm also going to disable the shark fin so we can actually see our cape better. Once you have done that, do make sure to click on the update button on the lower left corner here. And let's go back inside our game. As you guys can see, it is now showing the Zorro's cape over there. And it is showing the satellite dish, which is hovering through different rainbow colors, which looks really cool in my opinion. If you guys want further cosmetics, such as wings and titles, then we can actually go ahead and do that. Let's go back into our more cosmetics interface over here 
I'm going to click on offline mode. And as you guys can see, I do have additional settings on the left hand side here, which I can actually go through and enable or disable these cosmetics. So obviously we have different types of hats over here. We have a different type of head cosmetic. So you can actually choose from different cool looking cosmetics over here. Let me disable the satellite dish and hat for now. And let me go ahead and enable the headphones and ski goggles. As you guys can see that my character looks quite cool there. And let's go ahead and enable some other stuff on the body. So you can actually go ahead and enable a backpack, for example, if you want to do that. Or you can actually enable this a tactical belt, Kevlar vest, safety vest, quiver, and obviously we saw the shark fin earlier. We can also enable or disable different types of shields. As you guys can see, we have different types of shields over here, which you can cycle through. One thing to note is that you can actually enable all of these so they will actually stack on top of each other. So just make sure that you have disabled one of these before you actually go ahead and enable the second one. We also have two different wing designs. As you guys can see, we have the dragon wings and we have the mecha wings over here. I have selected the mecha wings at the moment. Let's go ahead and select the dragon wings and see how those look. So as you guys can see, my character looks quite cool with the dragon looking wings there. Let's also go ahead and change the name tag. By default, this may be switched off. So go ahead and select on and then you can actually go ahead and choose something to write in the first line and second line. So let's go ahead and type in pro for the first line over there. We can also go ahead and change the font. So let's go ahead and choose a different font as well. And I'm also going to choose a logo. So as you guys saw earlier, I'm going to click on this YouTube logo over here and click on the cross. And as you guys can see, my character now has the YouTube logo and the single first line there with the special font, which I applied, which looks really nice. Let's go ahead and change the cloak as well by clicking into the cloak library over here. And let's select a different design for the cloak as well. All right, so I've gone ahead and chosen this anime design for my cloak, as you guys can see. Now we can actually go back inside our game. And as you guys can see, my character looks really nice with the dragon wings over there. And if we look behind it, you can see that I have that special looking cape, which is the anime design. I do like the texture of that cape. It looks really nice. Let's actually zoom in even more to have a look at that cape in detail. So as you guys can see, it is a nice looking design on that cape over there. And if we have a look at our character, you can see that we do have the custom custom goggles and the belt and the custom wings as well. So if you guys are looking for a cosmetic mod for your Minecraft or Java game, whether you're playing on single player or multiplayer, or whether you're playing on offline or online, then go ahead and check out the more cosmetics mod for your Minecraft or Java game. It is available on version 1.18.2 and it's also available on version 1.8.9. And as I mentioned earlier, I have gone ahead and included this on my best PVP mod pack, which also comes in two versions, version 1.8.9 and version 1.18.2. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys will enjoy this more cosmetics mod for your Minecraft Java game on versions 1.8.9 and version 1.18.2. If you do have any comments or queries about how to download and how to install and how to use the more cosmetics mod, do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. Please do also subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.